All right, this is Greg Vincent. I'm sitting here talking to Hans Schmidt from Sudlersville, Maryland. And Hans, you are a 2010 Top Producer of the Year finalist and runner-up. Uh, just tell us a little bit about your farm and some of the unique challenges you have farming in the Chesapeake Bay. Well, we're about an 1,800-acre farm. And uh, we're relatively diversified. Uh, we used to be mostly livestock, corn, and beans. But my brother and I saw more or less the handwriting on the wall from an environmental and market movement. We've gone more towards specialty crops, labor-intensive crops, grapes, vegetables, and hay. And uh, in our area, with the Chesapeake Bay, we have there's a strong environmental movement. And we need, as farmers, need to work with showing that the environment, the best management practices that farmers are putting on the ground are the best practices. Now you, you talk about that, and you're actually, you know, I think a lot of people say that, but you're actually doing some things along the lines. You and your brother Alan are, right? Yes, besides just doing the uh, BMPs like no-till, uh, precision ag, and so forth, we've kind of gone beyond the farm gate in also inviting the environmentalist groups, the legislature from Washington, and so forth, different groups coming onto the farm seeing the practices, showing that what we are doing is environmentally safe and that we are producing food to feed the world. Have you had some success with it? I mean, is it anything you can point to of, of some... We've had some, we've had some legislatures come, legislators coming onto the farm who viewed our practices at what we're doing and, and have said at the end of the, of the day, said, you know what, I didn't think about that. I didn't realize that's what farmers were doing. And they said, we have a new appreciation, and then they go back to to their offices, back to their, their work. And hopefully, the hope is that they'll take that experience and take further into when they're writing balls and so forth, that, you know, it's more than, I mean, we all want clean water, we all want clean air, but take in mind the fact that we still need to produce food, and that's the key message, and it is working. Okay, so just real quick, Hans, you've uh, been through a pretty interesting experience that yeah. not a lot of people get to experience. You're one of three top producer of the year finalists. Tell us about the experience this week. This has been awesome. I, my brother Alan and I have just been very overwhelmed. My family, our wives have been very overwhelmed with this whole experience. This seminar really brings everything to the table. You know, if we can't be profitable, you know, we're not going to be able to go forward and, and be productive, produce food. And I think all farmers, you know, we live in a country that's in agriculture, is, there's no better place. And when in a seminar like this, this teaches you and, and shows folks that if you can be profitable and show you all the different tools that are out there to be profitable, you know, we can move forward and be productive and, and be able to produce the food that this world needs. What about the other farmers you've met from just all across the country? Uh, there's such a, a diverse farm, uh, farm families out there, whether it's the practices they do or the different crops that they grow. I mean, it's all pulling it together, but in the, in the long, big scheme of things, we're all in there trying to be the most, again, the most productive, produce, producing the safest food in the world so that we can continue to feed this food. That's Hans Schmidt from Maryland, top producer of the year finalist for 2010. Congratulations, Hans.